from Kitty Hawk to Kate Kennedy. NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration presents Aeronautics and Space Report. Space Highlights, 1965, an eventful year in space. These pictures, telecast live from the moon, were recorded by the Ranger 9 spacecraft just before it slammed into the lunar surface. This was the final mission in the Ranger series, a series which gave us a close-up look at the moon and clues to its character. Another picture-taking highlight, Mariner 4's voyage to Mars, a 325 million mile journey that returned the first pictures and data ever gathered close to the mysterious red planet. There were two Tyros weather satellites placed in orbit, Tyros 9 and Tyros 10. Between them, they spotted five hurricanes and 14 typhoons. Their television eyes transmitted thousands of photographs of the entire Earth to aid weather forecasters. Early Bird 1, the world's first commercial communication satellite, was launched by NASA for the Communications Satellite Corporation. Early Bird provides telephone, telegraph, high-speed data, and television between Europe and the United States. One of the 14 scientific satellites launched was an orbiting solar observatory, OSO-2. OSO's instruments provided information on the seething hot gases surrounding the sun and how its tremendous energy controls events on Earth and other planets. More than 400 sounding rockets were launched during 1965. Sounding rockets vertically probed the region between the limits of balloon flights and the lowest orbital satellites. NASA conducted many of these launches in cooperation with 16 countries. In aeronautical research, the X-15 rocket airplane soared to the fringes of space more than 30 times. New instrumentation was installed in the XB-70 2,000 mile an hour airplane. These studies are helping to design this country's supersonic transport. Also tested were vertical takeoff and landing planes, which may someday revolutionize air travel. Saturn I. The first generation in a series of rockets which will ultimately place men on the moon completed three successful launchings. Here, being static fired, are the engines which will actually lift the Saturn moon rocket off the launch pad. The Apollo spacecraft also underwent rigorous testing. Paving the way for the flights to the moon, astronauts Virgil Grissom and John Young proved Gemini ready for longer and more complicated missions with their three orbits of the Earth. Next, our first long-duration mission, the four days of Gemini 4 with James McDivitt and Edward White piloting. The highlight, of course, was White's 22-minute walk in space. Gordon Cooper and Charles Conrad demonstrated that an eight-day lunar mission is feasible. They spent eight days in orbit in the Gemini 5 spacecraft. After an Agena rocket failure, Gemini 6 was reprogrammed into a combined mission with Gemini 7 for the final manned space flights of the year. Astronauts Frank Borman and James Lovell left first in Gemini 7. Theirs was a long duration mission, 14 days in space, one meaningful to future manned flights. Plenty of time to complete a host of medical and scientific experiments. 11 days after their departure, Walter Schirra and Tom Stafford boarded the Gemini 6 spacecraft and headed for a rendezvous with Gemini 7, a rendezvous in which the four space pilots circled the world in formation. Gemini, Ranger, Mariner, Tyros, Orbiting Solar Observatory. These and many more made 1965 a year of significant progress in this country's peaceful exploration of space. This has been an Aeronautics and Space Report presented by NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration.